going to show you our hypermyelin vehicle here. It's a very boxy vehicle, Scion XB, first generation. It's got a one and a half liter engine. I've got the battery charger on it right now, so the hood is cracked a little bit, but you can get an idea of how boxy looking it is. We're going to go inside and look at the uh, instrumentation. On. Okay, the, uh, the odometer and speedometer are centrally located. You get an idea where that. There's a tachometer in the center instrument gauge and a fuel uh, gauge also with the speedometer. On the right side here, and here there's a clock and an odometer set for trip right now so I've got 431.6 miles on the current tank. There's an alter gauge in this cubby hole under the steering wheel. It is set from the last trip which shows that I got 65.1 miles a gallon. That's average trip miles per gallon on the upper right. On the upper left when the engine is on the car is traveling and the key is turned on it will show the instant miles per gallon. When the engine is off, it will show uh, zero like this. The uh, lower center left shows the percent of engine load. I use that to monitor how fast to go on the pulses or how hard to push the throttle on the pulses. I want to keep uh, the engine load at about 80, yeah, about 80 to 83. When I'm doing a pulse, it varies a lot. Sometimes it's down 65, sometimes it's 78. But I try and keep it under 80 and above 75 when I'm pulsing. The uh, center right shows the tri distance for the current trip. So on this last trip I made, I went at 10.4 miles and averaged 65.1 miles a gallon. On the lower left, We've got battery voltage, and on the lower right, we've got uh, tank average miles per gallon. So I'm averaging 46.3 miles per gallon on this current tank, which is not all that great, but it includes uh, highway travel from Central California back up here to the Bay Area. The uh, there is a kill switch so that I've set up here on the manual transmission gear shift knob. That's this red button right here. If I simply push that button it disables the fuel to the fuel injectors. And that's about it. The pulse and glide technique. Basically you accelerate up to a certain speed with the engine on and keeping that load at about 83. You'll watch the speedometer up here to uh, get up to your speed. Typical pulses, I'm trying to keep the RPMs from about 1500 to 2500. So the second gear pulse will be about 12 to uh, 20 miles per hour. The third gear pulse will be about 18 to 40 miles per hour. And the fourth gear pulses are about, excuse me, Second gear pulse, third gear pulses are 20 to 30 miles an hour. Fourth gear pulses are 25 to 40 miles an hour. And fifth gear pulses are usually higher RPM, but uh, I'm trying to keep them from about 40 to 55 or 45 to 60, something like that, depending on the traffic conditions and uh, posted speed limits. So what I'll do is I'll pulse the engine up, watching the load down here, watching the speedometer up here to get my RPMs from about 1500 to 2500. And there is the tachometer on the lower right of the center gauge to watch also. So anyway, try to get your, your engine RPMs up to 2500, then you kill the engine by pushing the kill switch down here and then you 
glide. Tachometer needle will drop to zero. Tell you the engine's off. You're going to glide back down from, let's say, 40 miles an hour in fourth gear down to 25 miles an hour, at which point you'll release the clutch. Once start the engine and accelerate back up to 40 again. That explains the pulse of the right technique. We'll have a demonstration video showing exactly how it's done.